Well, hello, friends. Um, today we're going to work on the paintbrush app again. And um, I thought that we were going to make some line thickness setting for the pen tool. Because currently, um, the only choice you have is trying this like one pixel thick line. And it would be cool if you could do like two pixels, three pixels, whatever. Um, so let's just uh, jump right into that. So um, I guess well, um, the idea that I had was that we would do sort of a um, spin box that would just say like what's the current thickness. But actually, since that's like a kind of a contextual thing, um, let me just look at the UI. So like if I choose the pen tool here, then I could have some like pen tool related thingy down here, I guess, somewhere. Um, or you could also do when you right click on it, uh, then we would pop up a context menu with the thickness. Mm, I don't know which one, um, but we have to figure something out. But the very first thing we can do before we figure that out, I'll, I'll let it um, <clears throat> stew a little bit in my brain. Uh, and in the meantime, let's go and implement something in the painter for drawing a line with a different um, line width or thickness. So we'll draw a line, I guess we can say like, um, uh, default value of one for the thickness um, and then uh, thickness and then the way I figure this is that it's not going to be the most efficient but um, but let's see um, but I figured if we would just draw like a rectangle at every pixel <laughs> with this size. So let's see. Um, set pixel, draw, blah, blah, blah. So instead of doing that, we're going to say, I mean, if we can do if thickness is one, then we'll do it that way. Else. Um, min y, max y. Um, draw, uh, set pixel with top and thickness. No, mm. it's kind of weird, but okay. I guess this will work for now. Um, so we'll just do that everywhere. Uh, you know what? Let's just write this down this, like the um, slow way. And then some optimization fairy can come through here later and fix everything up for us. But uh, let's not worry about micro-optimizing this thing right now. Because that's just, uh, it's just not the right time for that. Um, so we'll just add a thing for this guy that he will also take the um, thickness. Int thickness is one. Okay. And well, we're not quite done here yet. So here we're gonna have to set a pixel or draw up. Oh. Wait, how are we computing that? All oh, right, like that. Um, so if we draw off color and thickness, okay. Same thing there. Okay, I think we're good with that. Mm -hmm. And now we have to actually do something in here. So <clears throat> let's say um, 
if thickness is one. That's fine, right? And you know, I'll just return. Okay, now we gotta make a rectangle. So uh, rect. Oh, but we don't mm, we don't know the coordinates here. So is this used in many places? Not really. We're gonna need a special version of this. So it's actually it's gonna be more like um, I guess we can do like X Y like this. Call it to draw a pixel. Yeah, it's gonna end up being a bit different because we need the x and y coordinate um, to figure out if something um, is inside the um, bitmap or not. So let's see. So we already have set. Pixel, I think. Yeah, we have set pixel, so let's add draw pixel. Color and thickness. Okay, and then this guy here can just be the way that he used to be. And he doesn't need that with draw off. He shouldn't have the thickness. Okay. Draw pixel. Point, color, and draw. Just a point in the color. Like that. X, Y, X, Y, Finally, x, y, color thickness. Mm -hmm. um, so, I just realized that this thing should be internal for now because it doesn't respect the, um, it's not going to respect the translation. So we'll put it here, draw pixel, position, color, finally we're getting somewhere. Search, draw up. Uh, I don't want to implement the other draw ops right now, so we're just going to do this one. And was it not called draw pixel? Point color thickness. Point color thickness. Okay. Then. Um, if, uh, if uh, thickness is one, return set pixel or draw up. Um, and target scan line by x. And then and then we'll say the rec that we're gonna draw is gonna be position x, y. I guess we can do this actually. Position and the size will be one by one. Um, 
or no, hold, hold on. It's going to be thickness by thickness, and it's going to be position translated minus thickness divided by two in both directions. Okay. And then, um, I guess we can just do it this way. It was very, very unoptimized code, but who cares? Who cares right now? Top left. Um, maybe we can even do a fill rect, actually. Yeesh. Okay, so very, very, very fugly, but it'll work, hopefully. Okay, so now uh, I have to come back here and realize that I should make a, uh, I'm gonna do a context menu. So when you right click on the tool button, then you'll get a context menu for it. And the way that we'll do that is that we will implement a tool context menu. Um, and that will be provided like um, on context menu, context menu event, right. So we'll do it this way. And this will be something that we forward from the tool button class. So we'll do virtual void context menu event context menu event. Um, all right. On context menu. All right. Cool. Then we can go in the um, pen tool and say virtual void on context menu. Oh, and that's actually whole entire G menu. We'll have a little menu that we prepare for this. So context menu and if we don't have a menu, that means we have to create one. And though we do have one. We need to actually include it. Uh, menu. Pop up the event uh, screen position. I think that's good. Make G menu. Into a context menu. Okay. Add action. G action create. Uh, I need G action. Okay. Call it one. Um, this will be kind of ugly, but let's just do it. Let's just do it the straightforward way. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to work. Um, so we'll capture this and we will say this thing needs to have a thickness and M thickness one. Can do a few different ones, two, two three. Painter, what did we forget? Unused variable, right. See how this goes. 
if we can even get the context menu event. So these don't have that. This guy does. Look at that. If I try to see. Oh, right, yeah, because we never actually used to, <clears throat> we never used to thickness for anything. Um, so here's a call to draw line. M thickness. Okay, and we got to do the first line that way as well. So we're gonna have to change him, I think, to a draw line call. Add position, event, position, um, and thickness. And oh yeah, we can't do just a simple. Hold on. These. We can't use set pixel at all here anymore because we don't know the thickness. I mean, we know the thickness, but let's just make things, um, let's just do things the same way all the time because that just simplifies. It's not the time or the place to micro optimize. So actually, um, it should be here instead. That. It's a bit more understandable. Okay, but and change to four, and look at that. Oof, three, eight, two, uh, and one. Cool. All right. So let's see what we've done here in a patch a patch review. Um, so we're changing the pen tool so that it uses draw line all the time, never set pixel. Previously it was able to use set pixel because sometimes you would just draw a single pixel, but now we don't know based on the thickness. So it's easier to just always use draw line, even if you just draw a line from a position to itself. And then here we're just adding this little context menu with the silly thickness options. Maybe a different UI would be better, but this is the one that we'll go with right now because I just wanted to make the um, tool uh, be able to have thickness. And right, so we're extending the tool class with an on context menu callback, which is pretty cool actually. It's here. Um, and when we get a context menu event on the tool logs button, then we just delegate to the um, tool. Okay. And then in painter, I see that on line 634 we have a pointless return, so we'll kill that. And then draw pixel is new. If it's uh, thickness one, then we just um, call set pixel to draw up. Otherwise, we will um, use fill right. And then, yeah, so we just use um, draw pixel here. And uh, we're losing this fast path here, but I think that's okay. We can come back some other time and do a fast path. But in most of these paths, the code is basically almost identical with an extra branch for the thickness, basically. But it's just the one thing here for the horizontal lines that ends up, we're losing a fast line draw for the horizontal, but whatever. Uh, I'm okay with that. And then just um, function prototypes or headers, declarations. Cool. So let's say paint brush plus painter. Uh, or just paint brush. Um, implement um, or allow. Um, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> why can't I figure out what to say? Uh, implement uh, line thickness for the pen tool. Yes, setting for the pen tool. Um, the painter um, gains the ability to draw lines with her very thickness. 
um, it's implemented uh, by drawing uh, build rects for thickness greater than one. It's basically implemented by uh, um, paint brush tools. Can now implement an uh, override of um, context menu to um, provide a context menu for uh, and write for the toolbox. But okay, tools, tool classes. Nice. Okay, let's um, let's see a little bit more of that. So I'll just fill this up a little bit here, and then we'll draw into it. Zoot. Zoot. Haha. Very very nice. Mm. Wow, this um, paintbrush application is getting a little bit better all the time. It's uh, very nice. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for this video. So if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching and for coming back. And I hope you saw something interesting here. And I will see you next time.